Hey everybody! Not too long ago, I ran across a Twitch streamer who was playing Fallout 2, but it wasn't the Steam or GOG version which I'm used to seeing. This guy had the Bethesda.net launcher version, which he got free because he picked up a copy of Fallout 76. Strange thing was, for this version of the game, item highlighting and speed hack were both disabled. Both the Steam and GOG versions have the high res mod and version 3.2 of the S-Fall mod installed when you download them. But it turns out the version of Fallout 2 you get from Bethesda uses an older version of S-Fall 2.19, and for some reason the item highlight and speed hack keys are disabled by default. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable both of these incredibly useful tweaks by editing a simple INI file in the Fallout 2 directory. I'd also like to note, this works for all versions of S-Fall except the item highlight setting which seems to be moved to sfall-mods.ini in later versions, but the step is the same. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open the directory you installed Fallout 2 in, and for the Bethesda.net launcher, it's located in Program Files 86 slash Bethesda.net launcher slash games slash Fallout 2. If you installed it somewhere else, open the folder you installed it to instead. Next, find ddraw.ini and make a backup by copying and pasting it right inside this folder. And then go down to the original, right click and go to edit. Or if that's not built in, go ahead and right click, go to open with, select notepad. And if that doesn't work, you can just open up notepad to begin with. Like this and then go to File, Open, and then select the folder it's listed in. Now that we have ddraw.ini open in Notepad, there are two sections we're looking for. The Speed Key section, which for some reason isn't next to the Speed section. It's all the way down here, I have to scroll down a little bit. Uh, here's the Speed Key section and the Item Highlights section, which is right here. Uh, as you can see, the Speed Key section is uh, everything's set to zero except for the ones that are commented out with these semicolons. The same thing applies to the toggle item highlights key. There's one that's set to zero and there's one that's commented out with any semicolons. The fixes are simple. Delete the duplicate entries that are set to zero and remove the semicolon front and front of the entries with actual addresses assigned to them. By the way, the default keys correspond to the zero through six keys on your number pad. If you want a mod key for turning speed on or off, which in this case means you hold down this key while you press the corresponding speed key in order to activate that speed, you can change this to negative one for the control key, negative two for the alt key, or negative three for either shift key. But since shift key will be our item highlight key, we're just going to go with negative one for either control key. Feel free to change these to your liking. Just do a search for the DirectX scan code of the key you're looking for. I'll have a link to a list in the description and change the corresponding entry here. Although for some reason, the toggle item highlights key is in decimal format, no clue why. There's a lot more going on in this INI file for all versions of S-Fall, but thankfully the author of this mod wrote everything down for you just in case you were interested in poking around here, and that's all I was going to cover for this video. Finally, go to File, Save to replace the original ddraw.ini since we have a backup, then start Fallout 2 up using whatever method you like, and enjoy the new speed settings and the item highlight function. Well that's all I had for this video, feel free to like or subscribe yada yada yada, and let me know if you have any questions about this that I could maybe answer in another video, and have fun playing, everybody.